Hey what's up, I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create the hot and crazy scale from Barney Stinson in How I Met Your Mother. We're going to be creating that in Adobe After Effects and for those that do not know what the hot and crazy scale is all about, let me demonstrate it really quick because it's also some kind of life lesson. Let's say you want to date a girl, then you have this scheme right here and your girl is allowed to be crazy and she's also allowed to be if her girl is this hot, then she's allowed to be this crazy. So we'll cross it off here. If she is this crazy, she's allowed to be this hot and we cross it off. And then right here, you see this diagonal line that is going to demonstrate whether or not it's dating material. If she is crazier than she is hot, I would recommend not dating her. And if she's on that line or below it, then definitely go for it. Okay, so let's jump into Adobe After Effects and get started. Effects. let's take a look on how to create that hot and crazy scale uh, so right here you can see the scale it's from it's a really simple technique to use uh, we're going to take a look at two uh, techniques on how to write the text and how to uh, create these lines over here uh, how to animate them so so let's get started so I'm going to delete all these effects right here and one thing is for sure, you'll have to uh, actually write up in the air and actually kind of memorize how it actually is going to look. As you can see in the preview, it isn't perfect. Uh, so you can do a few takes if you have some more time. Uh, just try to get it as close as possible. You're really going to uh, imagine this scale in front of you and then later on we're going to edit on top of that. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect um, as long as you're quick enough. For example, in my preview, I didn't write uh, crazy fast enough and therefore you can actually notice that it's wrong. Uh, so if you would be writing it a lot faster, it would look a lot more realistic. Also, if you're going to be writing horizontally, make sure that you're actually writing it up in the air uh, in the reverse. So not the mirrored version, but just uh, flip it like horizontally. So if you're, you're going to be writing, you actually have to reverse the motion of your script. And if you don't know how to do that, you can actually just do it normally and then just select your footage and go to right click and transform horizontal and that's going to flip your footage of course and the entire scene is going to be flipped but therefore it's also going to be uh, readable to your audience so and these are just a few things that you should do when taking your footage okay so let's get started the things that we want to do is actually go to this position where I'm actually animating and what I want to do is actually go for a quarter resolution here so I'm a little bit faster we're going to search that position so right here I start and I draw a line so uh, you can see the line right here we're going to right click new and create a new solid layer this is going to be our line okay so click ok I'm going to click on this eye icon so we don't see our layer and I'm going to pick my pen tool right here I'm going to zoom out just a little bit or actually move my cursor a little bit right over here and click for a line then drag down a little bit so right here it should come to a stop we actually see that the line is right here so it's not aligned properly so what we will do is just click over here hold shift so we get a straight line just like that and what we can do is then um, move a little bit farther away and stop it like right over here uh, so again holding shift so now what we want to do is actually move it over a little bit so I want my line to be like in the middle of where I start so I start over here and I actually uh, didn't do a straight line down so uh, what I will do is just put it in between that's going to make it less obvious so right here uh, something like this so we have something like this right now now we have this we can enable our layer again we can go to effects and presets uh, right over here so actually go over effects and presets and search for the stroke effect and that's what we're going to be applying to our uh, solid layer we're going to see that immediately it's going to select that mask that we just created so this is our open mask that we are using to add a stroke to right here the paint style uh, let's change that to on transparent and we're going to make our brush size something like 9 okay so there we go we can actually already see our line right here so again go to the beginning where we start animating over here and I'm going to click on the end uh, on the stopwatch for the end right here and just changes to 0 then move all the way until we're actually stopping right over here in the first corner and just put it like 50% or a little bit less okay there we go and now we have this animation already and then go all the way till the end or actually when I start again so right over here we're going to press U on the keyboard zoom in a little bit and you're going to see that we just have these two keyframes so what I've done is 
like right here I pause for a second so what I want to do is actually make sure that my keyframes also pause in value so I will click uh, right over here on this diamond icon to create another keyframe with the same value then from there on all the way till the end we're going to just we are going to change this to 100% Okay, so now we have this kind of animation and as you can see, uh, it's following along nicely. Uh, what you can do as well is also start like with a ease. So you can right click keyframe assistance, easy ease. This is a more uh, neutral um, animation. So as you can see, my hand doesn't go like in a linear speed, like it's not at a constant speed. It starts off slowly and I stop, uh, yeah, slowly right here. So we'll just like these two as well, right click easy ease and there we go. So this is going to make it a little bit smoother and there we have our first line. So this is extremely simple to create as you can see. Of course, I would suggest you to actually keep it in screen, like try to center your graph because it doesn't look very nice or well composed. Um, but yeah, uh, I tried a few times. I didn't do a very good job at it. So uh, hopefully you'll do better. And if you do, link it in the comments below so I can go and check it out. Okay, so uh, we have this right here. So now what I will do is actually write down the crazy word. So again, it's not going to be exact. Try to write as fast as you can uh, so that you can animate your text as fast as you can and that's going to make it look um, a lot more realistic. So like, for example, I write my text right here but I made my graph right here. So this is a mistake. Uh, honestly, but it doesn't matter too much right here. Okay, so I write a C right here. So I will take my text tool right here, make sure that it's on horizontal text tool. And we're going to click over here. And write crazy. I'm going to be using the font Bellaboo. Um, this font just looks, um, yeah, like playful and like I'm writing with my hands. And of course, play with the size of your text and also with the spacing of your text. Like for example, I actually spaced my letters a lot and way too much and therefore um, I spaced my text over here. So try to um, just double check everything. For example, I can actually put them a little bit closer together as I can see. So this is going to be how I write my text. And what you wanna do here is again, do the same kind of technique Follow your hand movement, so watch closely, and then we're going to actually draw um, the e exact hand motion that you're actually doing. So for example, I start up here to create my C, I will draw around my C, um, then I will start over here, and I will draw this first line, then I come back up here, I draw this first part of the letter R, okay, and then I come over here and I draw this last leg of the R. Then I come over here and actually um, just make sure that you're continuing on the same mask and I will draw this first, come back up and then draw this one. Of course you can always go and change it a little bit more to make it as perfect as possible. Try to put the line really in the center of your text because that's really, really important. Okay, so uh, let's continue. We're going to click over here, uh, actually right over here and I'm going to fill in my A. And then go for the Z, fill it in. And there we go. So now we have our entire text selected. And again, we want to apply that stroke effect. So go to effects and presets, stroke, and apply it to your text. Now you're going to be increasing your brush size until you can't see uh, your text anymore. So maybe change it to a different color so you can see uh, if some of the white is still coming through. And there we have it, so this is perfect. And now for the paint style, I actually want to reveal our original image this time. So currently it's revealed as our start and end is uh, zero to 100. And if we're going to like lower this value, you're going to see that we're actually taking away our text. So now what you wanna do is really go to the beginning where you start drawing here. Let's right over here and we're going to click on the stopwatch for the end. Then we're going to move until we have created a C. We can also do it with a page down frame by frame. And then right here, we're going to just um, make our C come out. So that's 10% for me. It's going to be different for everyone. Then press U on the keyboard to reveal your keyframes and go until I start with the R. And that's like apparently right over here. Oh, okay. And that's like 
right over here. Okay, so I'm going to click on the stopwatch again to create a keyframe. And as you can see, it isn't perfect at all for me. So <laughs> um, let's say we have created our R right here. And then move where I create the A. That's right over here. And as you can see, you'll have to move and play around with all of these things. Like right over here, I start, go down, go down again. Just make sure we're not going too fast here. And just continue doing that until you have your entire text at the end, which is around right here. Okay. And let's go for 100%. Just do it on your own pace and uh, trying to write down the text like so. Okay, so once you have your text, you can actually also add a vertical text. So you'll just do that by going to the text tool and changing it to a vertical type tool right here. And we're going to write hot. Then, of course, with the move tool, we're going to move it over here. And also, again, animate it the exact same style like we did for the crazy. Then I added these axes to uh, my screen here. And the way I've done these, let's uh, continue a little bit more is I just wrote down with the type tool a simple X. Of course, I did manipulate it a little bit more, so I actually get a nice cross over here. And I'll move it over here and again apply that same technique with the stroke over here. Then once you have two X's, uh, like for example, we have them right over here. Again, try to record it a little bit better because I really did a terrible job, as you can see, uh, right here. Okay, so now we want to actually add another line. So we'll create another new solid layer and click OK. And select it, go to the pen tool, start over here, go through the crosses and then just again apply the brush, well, uh, the stroke tool and give it a yellow color. Also nine in width right here. And on transparent, okay. Also animate the end, press U on the keyboard. And now it's just a matter of following the same animation as your hands. So a really nice trick is to just uh, make all of your keyframes to easy ease as the body has a uh, kind of a exponential um, animation. So you're never going to have a linear move with your, with your hands. It's just impossible. Even if you're going really fast, you just put these two uh, a little bit closer together. Now you can also uh, move everything here in the layers. Uh, for example, if you want the crosses to come on top of your line and maybe just uh, rearrange them a little bit to match a little bit better with this line. As I said, it doesn't really matter that much if your hands aren't in the exact same motion as your line. Um, people aren't really going to notice it. It's more about what you're putting out there, um, but try to match it as good as possible in the camera and there's not much you can do about it afterwards or you'll have to do, yeah, start doing crazy stuff. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It's pretty basic, um, but it's a really cool effect. You can do a lot of cool things with it, demonstrate stuff uh, to people and actually envision your imagination on screen. So I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one and goodbye.